Want to see us take this outdated piece of furniture and turn it into this? Well then stay tuned to find out how. From the orange finish, to the scratches on the top, to the ugly hardware, it was time for an update for this piece. The first step of this transformation is getting rid of this ugly hardware. Peace out. One of the most important things in any transformation is giving it a good cleaning. Here we are cleaning with a 50-50 mix of denatured alcohol and water. And we are using our surf prep sander with a maroon pad to clean this piece up. Here we go into overdrive, and you can see in the back, Shop Dog Benji's doing what he does best, taking a nap. After a thorough cleaning, you always want to wipe back with a clean, damp rag. And there's Benji letting me know I'm disturbing his afternoon nap. Here we are again using the surf prep, but this time it's to sand. We're using a oversized pad here and a medium grit, which is about the equivalent of a 180 grit, to give this piece a good scuff sand for the best adhesion for primer. One of the little things that make a big difference is that we always tape off the drawers. You don't want to see overspray on the inside or on the edges of the drawers. You want to keep nice, clean lines. When scuff sanding and preparing for paint, you don't have to necessarily take all of the finish off. You just want to give it a good scuff up so a primer can adhere to the existing finish. Sometimes you'll have small little nicks and this is where wood filler comes in very handy to apply to get a nice and smooth surface. In this instance on these little spots you'll take a little more attention with the sanding to get it nice and smooth. This piece is going to go in the color iron ore. Iron ore is a very dark, almost black looking color, and so we use our dark gray primer. It's the, it's the darkest that we can get this primer tinted, and it is very close to the color iron ore, but here we are spraying the primer down. This is where taping off those drawers comes in so handy. It lets you spray so quick right around the edges on all of this and you don't have to worry about any overspray getting inside the drawer. One of the biggest keys to get a extremely smooth finish is 
sanding in between coats. And here we are using the surf prep once again, and this time we have bumped it up and we are going with a fine squishy pad. Yes, squishy pad is a technical term. Here we are applying the first coat of iron ore, and you can see how close the color is to the primer here, which is why we picked the dark gray primer. One of the keys to getting a very good spray coat down is to overlap your coats about 50% or even more in some instances. You want to get a good, nice build up while you're spraying. If you don't overlap enough or don't spray enough product on, then you can finish can dry too fast and give it a very gritty feel. And now here we are at one of the last steps to do, which is put on that brand new, beautiful brass hardware. Wow, this piece is going to look amazing. And there she is, all finished up. What a major change from what it was before.